projects in remote places like these throughout Britain, but a new type of building is growing up, bringing with it a glimpse of the future. In districts like Barclay in the West Country, Bradwell in East Anglia, and here, Dungeness in the South, nuclear power stations will soon be in operation. The electricity generated by them will pour into the grid system to be used by consumers in factories and homes throughout the land. The projects are enormous, and each of the power stations takes about five years to complete. A special crane, the Goliath, has been developed to assist in the construction. The giant can lift 400 tons at a time, an important point considering the very heavy items of machinery incorporated in the station. Most of the nuclear power stations are situated on remote, undeveloped coastal sites, in this case Bradwell in Essex. The reason is that an enormous, unlimited supply of cooling water is essential, and this is easily obtained from the sea. The design of the power station clearly shows the trend of the future. Fine, open buildings which will provide a major source of the country's electricity in the coming years. Uranium is the modern coal, and as fuel, bars of the pure element are placed inside the reactor. But first, the bars, encased in magnesium canisters, are checked and placed inside a magazine. The bars will be taken to the reactor, situated within a thick shield of concrete in the heart of the station. There, under remote control, a machine will insert the uranium fuel inside the reactor. This is the magazine loading stage. In the reactor, the reaction between the uranium bars and the nuclear core takes place, generating enormous heat. The heat is transferred as hot gas to the boilers, and the steam from the boilers drives the turbines, and so the electricity is made. The reactor is quite economical too. A single load can last up to three years. The center of every nuclear power station is the control room. Every process and operation can be governed from here, an engineer's dream. All the stations are operated and controlled by the central electricity generating board. complex operation of the reactors, the turbines and so on, all depend on the smallest particles of matter, the atom. From this will come the ever-increasing supply of power demanded by British industry, now facing up to the exciting developments of the future.